People started lining up pre-dawn in Rome to say farewell to Pope Benedict XVI. 65,000 mourners paid their respects yesterday and thousands more today. And that's far more than many officials expected as the public pays tribute to the former pope who spent his final years away from the public. ABC's Mike Marza is in the Vatican. For a second day, mourners lined up to pay their respects to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. He was uh, such an important uh, and incredible man, and especially for a Catholic uh, religion. I actually admired him, and he's a very courageous man, very simple. The body of the retired pope lying in state at St. Peter's Basilica after his death on Saturday at the age of 95. The former pontiff served eight years before stepping down in 2013, citing his declining health, becoming the first pope to retire in more than 600 years. Pope Francis, who will preside over his predecessor's funeral mass in St. Peter's Square, is now 86, one year older than Benedict was when he retired. Some Vatican observers say the retirement of the former pope could make it easier for Pope Francis or future popes to step down. If Pope Francis had resigned while Benedict was still alive, we would have had two former popes and one reigning pope. In keeping with his wishes, Benedict's Thursday funeral will be simple and solemn. The only official delegations will be from Italy and Benedict's native Germany. The United States will be represented at the service by the U.S. ambassador to the Holy See. I think that simplicity, that solitude, the interior life, his study, his prayer, his humility. Benedict XVI will be buried immediately following the funeral service in the grotto under the basilica where more than 90 popes have been laid to rest. Coins minted during his papacy and the vestments he wore will be included in his coffin. Mike Marza, ABC News, the Vatican.